Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to go ahead and document my eyelash extension process. I did not do this in the past when I got them and I just felt like it'd be something really fun to share with you guys and a lot of people seemed interested. So um, I'm just gonna share the whole process. The reason why I'm filming tonight, my appointment is tomorrow, is so that you could see my eyelashes with mascara on. So, um, a couple of things. First thing, the reason why I'm getting the eyelash extensions is pretty much the same reason why I got them in the past, which is the convenience factor. Um, I wake up in the morning, I'm exhausted. Even if I get a great night's sleep being pregnant, I'm exhausted. And so I just want one less thing to have to worry about. And mascara, honestly, is one of those things that like, if you want it to look really good, you have to take your time, at least for me. So I have fine eyelashes, they're great. I mean, everybody that I've talked to and tell them that I'm gonna do eyelash extensions, they're like, you don't need those, your eyelashes are good. And I'm like, it's not because of my eyelashes, it's just because of the convenience factor. And I'm really hoping that I continue to do them once the baby is born because then that's again one last thing that I have to worry about as long as I can get in for the fills. So um, if you are around this area that I'm in, I'm in the sub suburbs of Chicago, specifically like Schaumburg, Arlington Heights, let me know. I do have a new contact and this is the first time I'm trying her out. So again, it's gonna be fun to document it. Um, but basically, in the past I went with a different eyelash place and they were great i love them but they're expensive eyelash expense eyelash extensions can be very very expensive and so i believe the place that i went to which was ochi lashes they are right around elmhurst to put volume lashes on which i'll talk about that in a second why i like to do volume initially it's 290 dollars which is a lot of money, like a lot, lot of money. And then the fills, you're supposed to get done like between three and four weeks later. And I believe that's over a hundred dollars. So if you think about it, if you do it every like three weeks, which three weeks is pushing it, like it's gonna look like your eyelashes are not full enough it could potentially be like hundreds of dollars a month. So anyway, I have a contact, I've never gone with her before, but I do have a coworker who recently, like a year or so ago, decided to get eyelash extensions. She had a friend who does it, and so that's who I'm going to. Instead of being like $290 for volume lashes, the initial um, fill, sorry, there's someone walking out at my house and I just don't know who it is, um, is like $120. And then again, every time you get a fill, which is three to four weeks, it's $60. So significantly less expensive, but it is obviously a little different because it's at someone's house as opposed to at a salon. From what my coworker has said, it's that it's very professional, she's licensed, all of that stuff. So I'm gonna try it out tomorrow and I'm hoping that I really like her and that I really like her work. Um, but again, I just wanted to share a little bit about the lash experience and then show you guys the after. So these are my eyelashes now. And today I did mascara and I felt like I did a pretty great a pretty good job with the mascara. I feel like my face is really weird, but um, it looks really weird in this lighting. But those are my lashes. I feel like they are okay. Like today they looked better than they normally do because I had a little bit more time in the morning. Um, but let's see, is it gonna zoom? There we go. That's kind of what like that's kind of what they look like with mascara. And then I'll show you guys tomorrow. Ooh, zoom in. Come on. Hello. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> um, I don't know why it's not zooming on my face. There we go. Um, and then tomorrow I'll show you guys without mascara. So like I mentioned um, before, I'm going to go ahead and do the volume lashes. Let me look at my phone really quick. I just want to make sure that that's what it's called. I think it's volume set. Um, let's see. 
She calls it, okay, I'm getting the mega... I'm getting the mega volume. There's volume and mega volume. So the mega, mega volume is the $120. And that's what I'm going to get. And again, the reason why I'm doing that is because I've gotten the classic set before. I've gotten volume before. And I just know personally the way that I like them. I want them to look natural. I don't want them to be like extremely long or crazy. But I, the thing that I want is I want them to be nice and full. Like I want them to look natural, but I want them to look full. Like almost so that you have to think like, does she have like fake eyelashes on? You know, did she like glue them on? Does she have eyelash extensions? Like I really, that's the way that I personally like them. Again, I don't really, I'm not doing it for anybody but myself. I just personally really want to have them ready to go every morning. So I'm going to let you guys know um, how it goes tomorrow. I'll keep, I'll bring you guys along. I think this is going to be like an extra video because I honestly already have videos planned for next week, but I want to get it up. So she did ask me to come prepared with some like images of what I want. And so I'm going to do that. Um, but I don't know exactly like that's a little different from what I've done in the past. In the past you would just say like okay I want volume, I want classic and then they would just get you, they would just give you whatever. So I looked up online and got some ideas of lashes that I like and so I figured I'd show you guys them and you can kind of see if it's similar. So let me switch you guys around really quick. Hopefully you will be able to see them. So this is just an idea. This is how I want my lashes to be. Um, I feel like that's, it's not like they're not super long. Um, and I found these on Pinterest, but they're not super long, but they're also like full. And then again, Pinterest pictures. I like that they're just full, you know, same type of thing. They're just they don't look crazy, they just look full. And those girls are obviously super gorgeous, all of them. <laughs> so I'm not gonna look like that. Um, okay, I don't know why this thing has such a hard time focusing after I take it off my face. But anyway, that's kind of my, what I'm going with inspiration. So we'll kind of see how it ends up looking. My biggest worry when it comes to this stuff is always that it'll look too crazy. Like I don't want it to look too much because it does take a while for them you know I would say like around two weeks is when they start thinning out a lot more so if they're crazy I'm gonna have them for a while which is completely fine but um, I'm just excited to try them out again and I'm just glad that I'm getting to document the process this time because I didn't do it last time so anyway the whole main story behind all of that was I really wanted to show you guys my um, my mascara eyelashes tomorrow morning when I before I go I will show you guys very quickly I promise my eyelashes without mascara and then I'll show you guys the after and then just give you guys any tips or anything like that um, again I've done this before so I'm familiar with you're not supposed to get them wet for a whole day um, I know like how to clean them so if you have any questions about that type of stuff, let me know down below. I think the main thing is obviously don't go with mascara on. I was allowed to wear like foundation. I don't wear that much makeup to begin with. Um, it doesn't affect anything, but I definitely would not put on eye, eye makeup if I was going to do that, which I don't. I don't put mascara or I don't put like eyeshadow on. I don't put um, eyeliner or anything like that. So that's not something that I really have to worry about. But anyway, again, um, I just wanted to kind of share the before and why I'm doing it and that type of stuff. If you want, again, her contact information, let me know. If you have any questions regarding it, also let me know. I'm probably going to repeat this again, you know, in the end of the video. But so anyway, I'm going to head out. It's about 8.20 right now, and I am definitely having a pregnancy cravings I really want an overweiss milkshake so I'm gonna go treat myself to that and I will update you guys tomorrow all right guys so it is the next day and obviously I have my lashes on I totally blinked I was running late and did not 
vlog before with no mascara on so i do have a video or like a picture that i'll insert like a before and after picture to show you guys and i wanted to just let you know really quick um so she offers three different options when it comes to lashes you can do classic volume or mega mega volume and i was originally planning on doing mega volume just because in the past when i've done volume it wasn't as bold and the issue with not getting them bold is that after like a week or so it really doesn't like your eyelashes aren't going to look that great like they fall out and by the time you do the relash like you really don't even look like you have lashes on um so i was going to do that i brought pictures and showed her and she was great i totally recommend her again if you guys want her information let me know this is her full-time job like that she does it from her house and she was great very professional very similar to my experience in a salon um but anyway i brought her pictures and she was like oh you know i'm totally fine with doing whatever you want but based off your pictures it looks like you want to do more like volume not the mega volume and so she showed me pictures of the mega volume and those are definitely way too extreme for me so we went with volume and this is kind of what they look like I think they're super pretty. They are they look a little crazy. a little crazy to me just because they're so new and I'm not used to them. But I think once I get used to them, they're gonna be great. Um, so I'm really excited about it. It ended up being only $100 for the initial fill and then I go back in three to four weeks and it's $60. So not bad at all, especially not bad compared to the salons. Um, it took her two hours to put them on and I really liked it because instead of, you know, you have kind of like two types of people when you go get your nails done or your eyelashes done. The people who want to talk the whole time, which I don't mind that much, but sometimes it feels a little forced. And then you have people who like just kind of go with the flow. If you're talking to them, they'll talk to you. If not, then they're just kind of quiet. And she was definitely the second type. I seriously just kind of napped for two hours and it was great I loved it so I just want to show you guys the after show you guys what it looks like I seriously love them um, and I think it's gonna be so nice to wake up tomorrow and not have to worry about doing my mascara so I just want to give you guys a little update on those if you have any questions for me about the process if you want to know her information anything like that leave it down below and I'll see you guys next time bye guys